Tell you a little bit about Frank and then I'm going to introduce him. Not only is Frank a FX artist and pipeline technical director, most notably at DreamWorks, he's worked on films like Pacific Rim 2, Star Wars, Han Solo Story, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins Jurassic, Jurassic World, World, Camp Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous Fast and Fast Furious, and Spy, Spy Racers, Racers, Boss, Boss, Back, Back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right, I'm All back. Right. I'm back. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our fourth and final check-in and Q&A with our very special guest, Frank Lima. It is now four hours, almost exactly one minute over until deadline. So I know you're all tired and probably some of you are freaking out a little bit, but that's why we did this Q&A today so that you can really think about how to export and finish your film. Um, we still have lots of time. Four hours is good to make your final polishes on your scenes and then start thinking about a plan for exporting. And that's why we have uh, Frank Lima here. Frank Lima is an FX artist and pipeline technical director, most notably at DreamWorks. He's worked on Pacific Rim 2, Star Wars Han Solo Story, the new Mary Poppins movie, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, Fast and Furious, Spy Racers, Boss Baby, Back in Business, and most recently, Dragons, The Nine Realms. I am so excited also because Frank has been at almost every single 24 hours competition, at least for 10 years. Let's bring on Frank Lima. Frank Lima. Hey, everybody. Frank, how many competitions have you been at? Oh, my gosh. I think I was it, when you introduced it first at CSULB, I was in the first three competitions. Wow. And I after that, I help participate in every single one after that with people who had uh, technical questions and things like that. Yeah, Frank's always been such, you've always been such an amazing help, not only to m myself and the growth of the competition, but to the students, even when you were competing, I remember seeing you uh, helping other teams. And now as a seasoned pro, um, we're so excited to have you here to help the, uh, the students that are competing right now. Awesome, thank you. Let me just start by asking you one or two questions. Um, to the people that are watching, um, we'll have some time for a little Q&A if you want to ask Frank or pick his brain about anything. We're just going to ask you to hold off those questions till the end. He has a little bit of a presentation to help you with the steps of exporting to final. Um, so um, when you're ready uh, and we're gearing up towards the end, you can just type them in the chat and we'll make sure we respond. So Frank, my question for you is the students have four hours left. Some of them are actually finished already and handed stuff in. Some of them are getting real close to finishing, but some may already be furious, still be furiously drawing or working at their computer. Where should their headspace be and how should they think about finishing so they get in before deadline? Oh, so I would recommend if you're still working on scenes to just wrap them up, tie them in a bow, even if they're not completed at this stage, uh, you should be already editing and starting to export. No scene is going to be perfect. This is a 24-hour animation competition, after all. So it's just best to, you know, just look at it and just let go. Like, okay, I'm. This is good enough at this point. It reads. Let's go ahead and edit it. Yeah, that's that's amazing advice. I mean, even if they put together something 
that can be handed in. If they've got time and they look at the clock and they notice there's still an hour or two left after that, then they can go back and tweak a few things and always replace it. But it's great advice. Just head towards some sort of finish, you know, within the next hour. Absolutely. Yeah, totally agree. So I understand you brought with you some uh, some show and tell some, for the audience. Yes. So I have a small presentation for all of you out there who are getting ready to edit and export your films. And this is going to include some helpful tips, some do's and don'ts, and uh, other things during this uh, process while you wrap up your animations. So let me start my presentation here. So first things first, you're almost at the finish line. So hang in there, four hours left. So just keep on plugging and chugging. And you can't really see this co bottom corner here says, you can do this. Oh, really? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shoot. Really? Is that something that Frank can do, or can you help Ben? Technical hey. difficulties, everybody. Let me stop and start. Oh, no. That's weird, because, yeah, I'm already in the presentation mode. Um, what I can do is send the slides afterwards. Okay. And uh, I'll talk through it to the best of my abilities. That is very strange. I am sorry, everybody. That's okay. It's our, it's our um, system that's probably lagging you down here. Let's see. So... Uh, continuing where I left off, you know what? I have an idea. Is there a share screen option? Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little tweak here. And I'll go through the thing a little bit faster here. We might be able to get this to work. Oh, I think I know what it is. I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> this will move on forward. I, I swear it will work. One second. Frank, if you need a little time, we could do our check-in as well. Yeah, well, let's move on with the check-in, and okay. then I'll come back to this. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right, so All right, we're so going to do right now, folks, is just, is just give a shout-out to, shout to the, to the um, um, schools, schools that, that are, are in, in this region. region. I, think I think we're, we're in, in region, region four. four. And all we ask you to do is give us a thumbs up, a hello, post a picture, whatever you'd like on our social medias or in the chat. Just chat, so we know you're alive. Just so we and know well. you're alive and it's well. Important that we important, uh, that we, important uh, you're alive. Important and well. you're alive and well. So um, so um, uh, we can also uh, we can um, also bring in, uh, bring in um, uh, Lucy um, and Lucy uh, Liz and, uh, Liz and Ben if and you ben, all want if you to uh, all want help to, uh, me with this help long me with list. This long list. <laughs> Sure can. Sure can. <laughs> All right. So let's All begin. Right. So let's got, begin. The Academy of Art University. University. How you doing, everybody? How you doing, everybody? <laughs> Four hours left. Four hours left. We're pulling for you. We're pulling Who's for next? you. Who's next? Who's um, next? Allen um, High School. Allen High School. Here, see, here, From Allen, see, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. See some feedback see some here. Feedback check, here. Check in. <laughs> check in. And then Arizona, and then State, Arizona University. State University. Say hello in the Big chat hello if you're here. here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kenyatta College, is that right? Yep. Yep. In. 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 And from Canada, and from Capilano, Canada Capilano University. University. Welcome. 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 Hope you're doing well Hope and alive and well. well. I know there's a lot of teams, know there's in, a lot of teams this in Capilano this year. Yeah. All right, next we have All Chapman, right, next we have Chapman University. University. Hello, there. Hello there. You guys are doing well. You guys are doing well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then CSUC. CSUC. Hello. Hello. That would be CSU Chico. 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 All right. Next we have CSU Fullerton. Fullerton. Go PMC Club. <laughs> All right. Oh, my All turn. Right. Oh, my yep. turn. Next. Yep. Next. Yes. Yes. Long Beach. Long Beach. <laughs> we miss you. We miss you. 
Miss the beach. Miss the beach. All right. Next All is right, Sison. Next is Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I see some going, see on, some here. going <laughs> on here. Hello, Northridge. <laughs> and then we have and then Danny, Danny, Academy. Have Danny Academy. Hello. 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 Scrolling action. <laughs> next, we have uh, Digipin Institute of Technology. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next, we yeah. have, Next, we have East, East Los, Los, Angeles, Los Angeles College. Welcome to 24 Welcome hours. Welcome to 24 hours. Local. Local. <laughs> Hello, Exceptional Hello, Minds. Hello, Exceptional Minds. Good to oh, see you here. Yeah. Hope, you're here. Doing well. Hope you're doing well. Staying alive. <laughs> Staying alive. <laughs> and then we have then Irvine, we Valley have College. Irvine Valley College. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> All right. Next is... Um, I T E S M Campus Keretaro? I think it's cool. I think it's Retaro. Retaro. Keretaro? We tried. We tried. I've, I've been there. I actually I've been walked there. through I actually that campus. Through that it's, campus. Amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I have one. Oh, yeah. I have one. <laughs> Hello. And next we have, and next we where have this where contest this began contest in 2002. 2002. Laguna College, Laguna of, College Art and Design. of Art and Design. What's up, Elcad? What's up, Elcad? <laughs> Hello. Nice. 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 Uh, then we then we have Nevada, have Nevada State, State College. College. Hello, Hello, everybody. everybody. And then, and we, then have we have Okanagan, Okanagan. College. College. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Okanagan. 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 Got it. Got it. Uh, that's up in Brit uh, British Columbia. I right. Believe. Right. That's right. Right. They have a they have a okay. sea, sea monster, monster up there. Monster up there. Mm -hmm. You have to look it up. Oh. You have to look it up. Next, we have Otis, Otis College of Art and Design. Otis. Otis. And, in, and, and next, we have another, another brave, brave high school, school rolling in high, high school. High school. Hope you're doing amazing. Oh, 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 amazing. <laughs> for our shift. For our shift. Hang in there. Hang in there. You did it. You're, 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 you're like less than four hours away. Four hours high hours away. High we got this. We got this. Brave, 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 souls. brave souls. Next, we have, next we have S A E Institute Mexico. Mexico. Let's see if anybody's alive there. Slowly shifting everyone aside so we can make room. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have and then Sam, we have Sam, Sam Houston, Sam State, Houston University. University. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about the uh, feedback, guys. Sam Houston, we got um, Trunken Heads next. San Jose, um, and an another brave, brave, brave high school, Sizzler High School from Winnipeg, Manitoba. <laughs> All right, then we have the Think Tank Training Center. Hello, guys. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> and then we have the Universidad de Valle de, Pu de Puebla, Puebla, Mexico. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lucia, 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 take the next one. Uh, Universidad Federal, Federal de Santa Catarina. Woo! I think I did that right. Nicer. Much nicer than I could have done. And <laughs> next we have um, University of California, Berkeley. Cal in the house. All right. And... All right, Woodbury. That's our list, right? Long, long. <laughs> all right, so uh, worked out the kinks. You know, this is all live, guys, so tends to happen. Uh, is my text showing correctly, the, the correct direction, or is it backwards? Awesome. Okay. So um, picking up where I left off, you're almost at the finish line, so you can definitely do this. Just four hours left, so you just have to get those shots out, Render them and send them to YouTube. So I'm going to explain to everybody here the three stages of exporting, editing, and rendering out your final. So stage one, rendering scenes. So whatever you're using, be it Toon Boom, 
animate or ha harmony after effects or drawing everything by hand the do's and don'ts when you're rendering there's two simple ones even though there's two blank ones down there so do definitely always render out an image sequence whether you're in maya in harmony in after effects always 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 render an image sequence and the reason for that is if for any reason your program crashes you don't lose that time from the rendering so on the don'ts don't render quick times or video files because yeah it's happened to me many times before i'll send something into maya i'll like click that little render button come back an hour later just to see my desktop because maya crashed and i lost an hour worth of rendering so always render out an image sequence and also for the reason for that is um again if maya crashes and you've rendered frames one through 130 you can pick that back up and continue from 131 out to the end of your sequence so exporting image sequences there's tons of different image sequences or image file formats you can use you can use jpeg png psd which is photoshop tiff files gif so on and so forth but my two recommendations are up there png or jpeg and the reason for that is that png is a great lossless format to use and it doesn't get too big and you can use alpha channels so you can layer things if you want to like let's say you have an animation layer you can export an alpha with that and mix it with your background uh, if you don't want to do that you can use jpeg because you know it's nice and small everybody uses jpeg stage two editing so now that you've had you have all of your scenes exported or you might be doing this in tandem while exporting your scenes you have to edit if you don't have an editor i highly recommend going to download kden live or openshot these two are open source and totally free video editors and they accept image sequences as well so you can just drag and drop your folders with your image sequences and they'll appear on a timeline uh kden live has a little bit of a higher learning curve so if you don't want to do that openshot is highly recommended it's very simple kind of reminds me of the older iMovies but with a little bit more to it. Stage three, exporting. So exporting, you have your timeline is complete. You have all of your scenes all tucked away and ready to go. Now here comes the fun stage, exporting the last stage of all. When you choose to export, there's just so many options to choose from. You probably get inundated by AVI, MOV, MP4, FLV, and all these other different formats out there when you go to the exporting stage. I have some recommendations for you for what exporting type you should choose. So again, like you probably go into Premiere Pro and see something that looks like this, and you're just like, oh my goodness, look at all these export options. Use H.264 exporting. So an mp4 or a quicktime with h.264 and the reason for this is two reasons number one it uses hardware acceleration so what that means is that your computer was probably designed from the hardware level up to export h.264 quicktimes as quickly as possible and that's the name of the game you want this to be exported as quick as possible you don't want to wait two or three hours to render your final export because you don't have it. Also, H.264 is a compressed format and it's generally much smaller. So uploading to YouTube is quicker. Instead of you know using a ProRes file, if, for those of you who know, know what ProRes is, uh, and then exporting four or five gigabytes worth of information, which gets lost in YouTube anyway. So while exporting, your video you might have a few options and you might see this progressive or interlaced now this is a very old um, option that existed back in the early 2000s to mid 2000s and it's still in a lot of editing programs and i highly recommend not exporting 
your QuickTimes or your H.264 files in interlaced format because that was made for old TVs, those big old tube TVs you see there. That's what it was made for. Nobody uses those anymore. Everything's a modern TV, so it's everything is progressive. And I'll show you what I mean here in the next slide. Progressive versus interlaced. You see those little lines there? That was because TVs needed to use odd and even fields to work. So don't export interlaced. Always export progressive. So as you export your QuickTime, your H.264, uh, here are some target bit rates to export with. Bit rate is um, the amount of data that's packed per frame in your QuickTime file or your H.264 file. And usually the bigger the number, the better. So here are some numbers up here that you can use to um, export your H.264s with. So if you're using 1080p, it's good to do about 13 megabits per second. Um, 13, 15 is a good number. If you do too low, so if you do too large, the file is going to be really big. If you do too low, the file is going to be really small, but highly compressed. And this is what I mean. So if you look at this slide, the very, very top one has a lot less compression. So that's a higher bit rate. And then the very bottom, you can kind of see like the pixelation and the weird blockiness. And that's because there was too much compression, too much, not, not enough of a bit rate to export with. So bigger is better. Don't make it too big, though. And that's the end of my uh, short little presentation about um, export or rendering, editing, and exporting. I'll open the floor for questions. I know I went kind of fast to make up for lost time. Uh, so no, it was perfect. I actually learned a lot actually just watching this. I I take it for granted how much I need this information, but I always just kind of like winged it when I needed <laughs> to export. But this was great. I'm like, oh, Thank you. that's why that word is there. <laughs> much more clear. Thanks, Frank. That was me. You're welcome. All right, do we have any questions from the chat? Waiting for the voice of Ben. Yes, it is. It should be in in any major editing application, whatever, uh, whether you choose Kden Live, OpenShot, Premiere, After Effects. If you use a program like After Effects, you're going to need to. What's it? What kind of problems? Could they not export it to the, um, oh, what do you call that? Uh, they have their own media encoder. So what happens is if you're in After Effects and you decide to export or to the media encoder, sometimes that doesn't connect properly with the latest version of, of, um, of After Effects and the encoder. And the reason for that I found is that the school might be in a VPN or a lockdown network because uh, the Adobe's media encoder uses the network to communicate to send that that rendered file over to um, the Adobe media encoder. So like After Effects needs to create like this virtual network to talk to it. And a way around that is if you can save your After Effects composition and your file, open up the Adobe media encoder, Go to File, and then open After Effects Composition through the Adobe Media Encoder, and that will stick it directly in without needing to talk back and forth. Any other uh, questions?
We are waiting for more questions from the chat. If you have any, can they hear me, Ben? OK, great. If you have more questions, please give us more. <laughs> nope, sorry, married. Not married to a wonderful, wonderful past participant yeah. of 24 hours, in fact, who's a yeah. director at DreamWorks. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Any other questions about exporting? About Any technical questions? Technical, software. Frank, we, we call him the wizard because he knows so many things and casts spells, and we can't understand yeah. how he does it. It's just amazing. What I do every evening is I have a big cauldron, and I just throw software and computer parts in there and just kind of mix it together. Oh, Frank, I've got to tell the um, Silicon Graphics O2 story. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, please do. <laughs> so, Frank. <laughs> oh, OK, I'll, I'll hold off my I'll hold off my story till the end. We've got questions. Yes, absolutely. Um, do progressive, never do interlaced. Interlaced is for old TV sets and for uh, TV, some TV production, but not, not in this case. You want to make sure that your animations are exported progressive. Other questions? We've got about four minutes that we can keep Frank for. And he has lots of details. Anything about if you're not sure if you have a disagreement with your team, you're not sure what to do. Some people want to keep animating. Um, some want to finish. Some are tired. Some are sleeping. Yeah. You know, it's the end, the stretch to the end. OK, here's another question. Can we still export video straight from Toon Boom or is image sequence render the official method? I. I mean, I'm not going to stop you from exporting a QuickTime or a video. If you want to do that, that's up to you. But I highly recommend image sequences just because if for any reason Toon Boom crashes, you don't lose the QuickTime and you can pick up where you left off with the image sequence. Especially if you're using a lot of different layers in Toon Boom and the, the scene is really complex, uh, you don't want to risk, you know, spending 15 minutes trying to render out that sequence and then lose it. If they have a successful image sequence done, then if they choose to do a quick time after that, because they know they've got the security of the images, is that okay? Or Yeah, I mean, it's just extra time, because what happens is you can always just throw the image sequence into an editor, and it treats it just like a video file. You can bring image sequence right into QuickTime, too. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Nice and easy. Mm-hmm. Um, someone has a question about accessing save files on Toon Boom. Um, I'm asking to see if uh, he could clarify, but um, like auto anything? saves, yeah, accessing so save files, I guess. So if, if, can can they can they hear you? Can they not hear you still, Ben? Uh, they can hear me now. Hello, okay, everybody. Good. So uh, Toon Boom does auto save, and from my knowledge, I know definitely with Storyboard Pro, it keeps an auto save file inside the root directory of whatever Toon Boom file that is, and I think it's an autosave. And um, you can change that autosave, like change the extension to the Toon Boom file, and that would work. It, it uh, so the person mentioned they kept saving, and now when they open Harmony in, uh, in the open scene, it doesn't have the animation show up. I oh. can't find it. That's interesting. Um, so the the project's totally blank. Uh, seems so. Um, did probably they might have messed with the uh, folder structure. That's my thought. Yeah, um, referencing yeah. It sounds like. So, so uh, if you lose your animations, Toon Boom does contain those animations and sequences inside of a folder in that project, and you can bring it in back into Toon Boom again. Uh, that I'm not too sure about, though. Like, I, I don't know the exact procedure to do that, but Toon Boom does contain those fi files inside that project, so you can maybe go to, like, File Import 
and then bring them back. But also, Tomb Boom may, may have an auto save that has a few versions back. And if you're using Windows, sometimes, depending on if, if it's set up or not, you can right click that Tomb Boom file and it'll show a version history you can roll back to. Well, it looks like they found their files. Oh, oh goody. Good. Oh, good. That's, we all panicked. Whew. We all panicked for you. Yeah, that's uh, a, another question. <laughs> that's a scary uh, why would Harmony not let you rename your scene when you share files? Rename your scene when you share files? I, I might need more clarification. Um, I'm assuming they're uh, sharing their project files with somebody else, but I guess... Um, or sharing it to export? Um, hmm. Well, basically, every time you uh, create a scene, right, it, it, it creates a file with that name, right? Right. It, so it, yeah, it, it creates a folder with that name and a file with that name and associates <coughs> all the animations with that name. So changing it might not be a good idea because then you'll have to alter everything that's connected to it, too. Yeah, it's best to make your changes within the Tomb Boom Harmony software rather than trying to change the names right. in the file folders. Yeah. Unless you're talking about the export, if they want to change the name, you know, to a different, you know. Oh, that, that should be fine. To into a team name, and that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, Hopefully well, we've reached 12.30. If we have one or two more questions, we could take them. Hmm. Well, um, I want to thank you, Frank for all of your wonderful um, wizardry. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, oh, I didn't tell her the O2 story. Do we have a minute oh, yeah. to tell that? Uh, sure, one thing uh, before you tell that, could you uh, probably share your presentation on the Facebook? Yes, so what I'll do is I will go on the 24 hours page and I will share the presentation with everybody so anybody can uh, reference it later. All right, Aubrey, you're up. Well, so Frank and I, we, you know, Frank has this love for old computers, and I happen to have this amazing old Oxygen, Silicon Graphics Oxygen. It was an O2. And, you know, in back in its day when I started animating, which was the late 90s, and Maya was like a beta test software, um, these things were like, like $20,000 each, right? They were like the gold standard of high, you know, high, amazing quality feature film, right? So it, it was not worth that much. It was probably worth like pennies at this point, but it was still in like pristine condition. <laughs> and Frank and I were good friends. We were seeing each other all the time. And I think he saw it. <laughs> and Frank, your memory might be different, but you were like, is that an O2? Because, you know, you, you collected all this great old vintage stuff. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to do with it. It's just been sitting in my closet, <laughs> pristine condition. And it's like I said, you know, in fact, you've, you've done so many great things for me. Would you like it? Like, it's yours if you want it. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember, but you were so excited. <laughs> and, and you were like, yes, I would love that. You know, I'll, I'll plug it in. And as we were transitioning <laughs> it, somehow it just it just wasn't in my hands anymore. And it just landed into like... a thousand pieces on the ground. <laughs> it I like as soon as it passed over, it just went whoosh, straight into the ground and just shattered everywhere. Like, and I'm just like, oh. Uh, <sighs> I think you still picked up the pieces and said, I I'm did. I picked up every single work. piece. Good times. Good times. It was with so funny. <laughs> well, Frank, I'm just so pleased to see you. And thank you for being part of the tradition of 24 hours as always. And um, big hugs to Michelle, and um, come on back next year, okay? Absolutely. Thank you for having me on, and good luck to everybody. you got four hours left. We got this. You got this, everyone. Any parting words from anyone before we say goodbye? Uh, guys, this is our last stream. Um, good luck, everybody. Finish your films and submit them before the deadline. Uh, you gotta, You got to make it. No second later than that deadline. So please um, keep an eye on that time. And um, if you can go earlier than the deadline, 
by all, by all means, do it. This is kind of the crunch time. I, I, I second that notion. I would actually recommend submitting something like half hour before deadline, just so you have something in, even if it's not finished. Because the worst case scenario, which happens a lot, is you, you say, well, let's just get one more thing done. Let's get one more thing done. And that half hour is gone and it's already past deadline. So you can always submit another one. Like if you submit it at, at you know, half hour before deadline and then you get another one, you could submit again and just say, we have a new updated one, use that one. That's fine. But don't be in a position where you, where you, you're, you're late. Yeah. As long as your second submission is before deadline. <laughs> yes. Oh, all, all have to be before deadline. Mm -hmm. That is a hard requirement. Yep. yep. And check your time. Make sure it's 30 seconds. Uh, with your team name card, it can be, you know, 33 seconds, but the film itself, 30 seconds. Make sure it's public. Wait, what, what do you say? Unlisted? Unlisted. Unlisted on YouTube. And doesn't have anyone's name other than your team name there, right? Yeah, for the for, for the moment before the end of the contest, try and try to refrain from commenting on each other's videos. You guys will probably find it somehow. Um, we <laughs> we'd like the judges to not have any sort of bias when they're judging. If they see like somebody say, "Oh, go see Sun," then they're gonna know it's from see Sun, and it's like, "Oh, I like that school though." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Good. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. Good luck. Got Good. three and a half hours, less than three and a half hours. You can do this. Go, 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 go.